Hello and welcome. To get you started on your R journey, we need to set you up with the required software, R and R Studio. R is the programming language you're going to use to write code, and R Studio is a development environment that makes working with R easier. So let's see how we can get you access to these software. Let's get started. So your learning objective for this lesson is that you can access R and R Studio either through rstudio.cloud or through your local computer. Let's see what this means. So the first distinction we want to make is between R and R Studio. And like I said before, R is a programming language you're going to use to write code. R Studio is an integrated development environment or an IDE that makes working with R easier. There are many other IDEs you could use to work with R but our studio is by far the best. The other distinction to have in mind is cloud versus local. Will you work with R on the internet, on the cloud, or will you download it to your local computer? Most people download it to their computers and work that way, but there are a few reasons why you might choose to work on the cloud with a service called RStudio Cloud, which I will introduce you to. One reason is you just want to give R a quick test drive and you don't want to waste time installing software. Another reason is maybe your computer is old or slow and it can't run R competently. And then a final reason is maybe you've run into trouble installing R in R Studio, and so you just want to try it out on the web before bothering with the troubleshooting. Note though that R Studio Cloud only gives you a 25 free project hours per month. After that, you have to pay. So keep that in mind when making this decision. Now the rest of the video is going to be divided into three parts. First, I'll show you how to get set up on the cloud, if that's what you're using, with the service rstudio.cloud. Then I'll show you how to install the software locally if you're on a Windows computer. And then I'll show you how to install locally if you're on a Mac OS. So jump to the section that's relevant for you. So now I'm going to show you how to get started with RStudio on the cloud. It's quite simple. You go to your preferred browser and you type in rstudio.cloud. And you go to the RStudio Cloud website here. And you can click on this Get Started for Free button. Or at the top right there, you have the Sign Up button. They're both the same. So I'm going to click Get Started for Free. And I'm going to click on this Sign Up button here at the bottom. And it brings me to this page where I'm going to enter my details. And once that's done, I'm going to click the Sign Up button. Now it says it has sent a link to my email. So I need to go to my email and click on the link sent. And that brings me to the Email Verified page. So now I can open a new tab and go to rstudio.cloud again. And from there, I can log in with the provided credentials. So again, I'm just going to go to rstudio.cloud, the login section, and then I'm going to put in those credentials that I just created. And it brings me to this nice workspace to create a new RStudio project. To get started with R, we need to click that button at the top right for new project, and then click on new RStudio project. And while that's deploying, we can rename our project to something like R underscore intro. And that brings us to this RStudio window here. This is going to be your home for a very long time to come. We can close this side panel so we have a bit more space. And we can press Command or Control Plus to zoom in. And now if you already want to start working with R, you can type code directly into this tab here, which is the console. You can see our cursor down there. For now, we're going to type something very simple, 2 plus 2. And that is our very first R code. So now you are set up. You can use R on the web with rstudio.cloud. So now you can jump to the final section of the lesson. See you there. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, let's see how you can install R and RStudio. To install R, you're going to go to cran.rstudio.com, or you could just Google search Cran R Studio, and it'll take you to this website here where you have three options for download. You're going to click on the third one there for download R for Windows. And it gives us this scary page with a number of subdirectories. We're going to click on this first one because it says this is what you want to install R for the first time. So we click on that. And then at the top, we have this big link here that says download R for Windows. We're going to click on that there. And it triggers our download, as you can see. Once the download is over, you can go to your downloads folder, or in my case, I can click directly on it from here and click on open file. And it says, do I want to allow this app to make changes to my device? I click yes. And then I'm just going to follow the instructions to install R. 
So I didn't change any of the defaults, I just kept hitting next, and now R is being installed on the computer. And once it's done, I can click on finish, and now my computer has R. But for the most part, you're never going to work with R directly, you're going to work with R via R Studio. So let's see how to get the R Studio IDE. The easiest way to get to the download page for the R Studio IDE is just to Google download R Studio, or you can search on your favorite search engine. So here I see the first result there, download the R Studio IDE, and I'm going to scroll down to this R Studio desktop free option click on download there, and the browser has already figured out my operating system, which is Windows, so I can click on that button, and that triggers the download over there. Now once the file has been downloaded, I can open it from my downloads folder, or in my case I can click directly, and I'm going to go through the installation process just clicking next, yes, next, yes. And now to open our studio, I can just click on the Windows key, and search for R Studio there, and I can click to open the application. And that brings us over here to the R Studio window, which is going to be your home for a long time to come. Now we can already type some R code by going to this console tab here. You can see a flashing cursor. In there I'm just going to type 2 plus 2 and run that code, and that is our very first line of R code. So now you're set up with R and R Studio. You can use R on your local computer, so you're ready to go to the end of the lesson. Now if you're working on a Mac, let's see how we can get you set up. First you have to go to cran.rstudio.com, or you could just Google Cran R Studio, and it will give you the cran.rstudio.com page. And you can see here that you have three options for downloading and installing R. Since we're on Mac, we're going to click on that second one, Download R from Mac OS. Now the page looks quite scary, but all you have to do is find this latest release section, and for the majority of you, you can just click on that first link there. If you want, you can read the description of what it pertains to, but for the majority of you, you can click on the first link. If you have bought a new MacBook since 2021, chances are you might be on what's called an M1 Mac, and in that case, you would actually want to pick this second link there. But I think for the majority of people, you can click on that first link. Now in my case, I am using an M1 Mac, so I'm going to click on that second link for M1 Macs only. And that will trigger a download to my computer. Now you can see in my downloads folder, I have that file, so I can just double click that to open it. And I can just follow the steps for the installation. It might ask you for your password, so you can put that in. And voila, in a few seconds, it tells us the installation was successful, so we can close, and now we have R on our computers. But like I said, usually you're not going to work directly with R, we're going to work with the R Studio IDE, so let's see how we can get that. Now to get the R Studio IDE, your best bet is just to search R Studio Download on your favorite search engine. And usually if you click on the first link, it'll take you to where you need to be. So if we scroll down on this page, we can see here the download link for RStudio Desktop. That's what we're going to click on. Now the browser has already figured out what operating system you're using, so it gives us the right download link there. Download RStudio for Mac, we're going to click on that. So now in my downloads folder, I have this DMG file that I can double click to install RStudio. And now all we need to do is drag the RStudio icon into our applications folder. And once that's done, we can simply press Command and Spacebar and find RStudio there, and we can open up the RStudio IDE. Now it says RStudio is an app downloaded from the internet, do I want to open it? I click Sure, or Open rather, and after a few seconds it shows us the RStudio interface. This is going to be your home for a long time to come. We can press Command and Plus in order to zoom in a little bit, and here in our console, we can already type some R code. I'm going to type something very simple, 2 plus 2, and I'm going to press enter, and we've just run our first line of R code. So now you're done setting up R and R Studio on your computer, so you can jump to the final part of the lesson. If you're still following along, congratulations, you've just begun an amazing journey into the world of R, the best programming language for data analysis. Over the rest of the course, we're going to show you how to make the most of this tool. 
I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye bye. For more resources, visit our website where you can track your progress, access interactive quizzes and lesson notes, and connect with our teachers and other learners like you. And if you'd like a more guided experience, we also offer live online boot camps with expert help. So join us at thegraphcourses.org to start your learning journey today.